Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about video games. We're gonna talk about whether or not they affect your mental health. Do video games make you sad? Do they make you toxic? Do they make you violent? Do they make you crazy? Uh, no, no. According to Oxford, according to a study at Oxford, video games do not negatively impact your mental health at all. So this is a far cry from from things that uh, we have been hearing for the past several years now, since about uh, 2012, 2014, that uh, Tipper Gore was right, violent video games are bad for you, that uh, gamer culture is leading to shootings, that uh, you know all the world's ills are, are because of uh, toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Hell, we had this in the New York Times. Uh, from Fortnite to alt right, how the uh, the alt right was getting its its uh, meat hooks into young boys through games like Fortnite and gamer culture and YouTubers like uh, PewDiePie. Hell, they're after they're after PewDiePie again too. Uh, PewDiePie apparently supposedly making fun of a, a deaf TikToker or something. I don't know. They're always after PewDiePie. They're always after gamers. They're they're trying to start GamerGate again, right? Um, but now Oxford is saying no. Uh, and actually, it doesn't it doesn't appear harmful to mental health unless the gamer can't stop. If you're addicted to games, if you just can't stop touching your buttons, you might have a problem. You might have a problem. So we're going to talk about this uh, before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants, guys. We don't talk a whole lot about video game news, but uh, we do somewhat. Uh, we are gamers here at Clownfish TV. Uh, I am a longtime gamer. I have been gaming since the 2600 and nes days and uh i was i was there for the uh the 8-bit and 16-bit revolutions i am that old i am that old and uh, i don't remember games being that controversial until the 90s and that's when uh, everybody blamed everything on video games i remember columbine being blamed on doom you know um before that, it was just video games are a waste of time and a waste of money. But yeah, gamers have been demonized uh, for sure uh, over the last several years. So this is uh, Tech Explorer has it. Let's see. Uh, the Verge has it. Several outlets are picking it up. Uh, gaming does not appear harmful to mental health unless the gamer can't stop, according to Tech Explorer. The Verge, playing video games all summer won't make you feel worse. You can send this link to your parents. Can we send this link to The Verge when they write another hit piece on gamers? I want to make sure that they understand what's actually being said here. And it's not that you just don't, don't get depressed. Um, so yeah, uh, today's research suggests gaming may only be a negative, a negative influence for those who feel compelled to game rather than all users. There's much more to be learned. Um, societies may tremble when a hot new video game is released, but the hours spent playing popular video games do not appear to be damaging players' mental health. According to the largest ever survey of 40,000 gamers and their gaming habits, which was conducted by Oxford, Oxford's Internet Institute. That does not mean, however, that the research did not throw up some concerns. And the team argues much more information is needed before tech reg regulators can rest easy. The research uh, published to the journal Royal Society Open Science found no casual link between gaming and poor mental health whatever sort of games are being played. But a professor, uh, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name, a research fellow, says the research did show a distinct difference in the experience of gamers who play because they want to and those who play because they feel they have to. He maintains, we found it really does not matter how much gamers play in terms of sense of, of their well-being. It wasn't the quantity of gaming, but the quality. Um, that's true of every video game, isn't it? It's not the quantity. Uh, it's, it's, is the game good? If they felt they had to play, they felt worse. If they played because they loved it, then the data did not suggest it affected their mental health. Uh, it seemed to give them a strong, positive feeling. The groundbreaking survey of gamers was the most comprehensive to date, taking in multiple platforms and seven different systems, or seven different games, I'm sorry, including basic games such as Animal Crossing, uh, racing simulators such as Gran Turismo, and more competitive games such as Apex Legends and EVE Online. And Professor What's-His-Face said there's no difference on an impact in mental health, whether ga the game involved moving to a new town with talking animals or taking part in a battle royale style game, such as Apex Legends. So it's not like, well, if you play games like Animal Crossing where you're not actually killing people, you're not going to kill people either. Uh, players own their gaming data, which is accumulated by the platforms, and nearly 40,000 people gave permission for it to be used in research. Um, Professor What's-His-Face 
says about a billion people are playing video games. There are 3,000 games on the Nintendo platform alone. People play multiple games, and we were able to access information about 39,000 people playing just seven popular games. Uh, in order to answer the questions that parents, such as he, wanted answers to, the professor said we need to collect large representative samples, and we need to do it at the platform level. Looking at just seven games is like looking at seven foodstuffs when you know Tesco's, obviously the UK, uh, Tesco sell thousands of different foods. And this is going to be cherry picked and picked apart and all that. Uh, these are just the first steps into the world of understanding how gaming fits into gamers' lives. It all seems that uh, why you're playing is the key factor. This is an exciting study, but we have a lot of work to do. So are these outlets going to knock this shit off? That uh, video games aren't hurting people's mental health? They're not helping it. In fact, they don't do much to move the needle at all. According to The Verge, they have to put that in there, though. So the next time a, a toxic gamer does does something, um, they can blame blame the games, blame gamer culture, whatever. Uh, so this is this is uh, very interesting. Again, you know, we have been hearing for years that gamers are awful. Games are awful. Uh, games are tied to nefarious things. And look, you know, there maybe are some groups out there that are trying to use video games uh, and TikTok to uh, recruit people or whatever. But um, yeah, it seems like video games don't uh, don't really hurt your mental health at all. Oxford study. So, you know, suck it, tip or gore. Suck it, tip or gore. Anyway, uh, before I wrap this up, just wanted to let you know that we're going to be launching a crowdfunder for Crimson Wren, uh, which is a 130-plus page full-color graphic novel from Clownfish Studios, uh, written scripted by Geeky Sparkles and myself and uh, drawn by Jose Garcia. It's a story we've been waiting about 10 years to tell as a throwback to 1980s style classic uh, Spielbergian adventures. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, check it out on Indiegogo. I am going to put a link in the comments and we'll talk later. 